Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. I have been trying to think of something new that I can bring you. And I was going through some recipe cards that I got from my mother-in-law. And I came across a recipe that I haven't made in over 30 years. And I was so happy that she kept the recipe. And... Uh, because I don't know where mine is. And it's called Ozark Pudding. Have you ever heard of it? It's an apple dessert, and it is that time of year, and it is absolutely delicious. So let's start making it. Now, this can easily be doubled, but I want to give you a little hint. This bakes in an 8 by 8 butter dish. If you double the recipe, easily double, quadruple, get a bigger pan. Let me show you why. I made one earlier. I doubled the recipe, and look what happened. And I have been cleaning my oven. So we're going to make another one with you, but I'm not going to double it this time. That should have been baked in a nine by 13. So just so you know, if you double this recipe, and I'll put it in the directions, um, put it in a bigger pan, but it is delicious, y'all. Okay, so let's get started with this. We're gonna use one egg. Just gonna plop it right here in my bowl. And now my egg is room temperature. And I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Butter, I mean, egg, sugar. Y'all, yeah, I can't believe there's no butter in this recipe. Can you believe that? Just in the pan. Okay, so three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now, we're going to combine this until that sugar is pretty much dissolved, and that egg, we just want them combined real good. So y'all give me a minute, okay? All right, y'all, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful color? It just got so pale. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to add our flour and baking powder. I'm using all-purpose flour, and I need two tablespoons. You'll have to watch my recipe because I haven't made this in a while. I just remember it being amazingly delicious. So there's two tablespoons of flour, and I need baking powder. And we want one and one half teaspoons. You know, that's kind of why mine, mine run over. You know, it did what it's supposed to do, but I didn't allow for it. So, y'all, please do. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And I want just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Y'all know salt enhances that sweet in any dish. Sweet or savory salt just enhances that flavor. So using our little spatula here, we're going to stir that together. We've still got to add some vanilla. Let's mix this up a little bit. Now, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, you know the cap is a teaspoon, so I'm just going to measure like that. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now, I have, it calls for one apple diced, and you want it diced. Um, I, I do it on the smaller side, but my apples were small, y'all, so... I peeled two. Now, I'm going to dice them up, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I tried to clean all that little apple stuff off. So I'm just slicing. I'm, I halved it, quartered it, and now I cut the quarters 
again and you see about how big I'm making it and um, yeah it's so good so let me get this diced up we're just dicing it right into the bowl and um, I'll be back and show you what we're doing next okay now if y'all want to and I didn't on these when you cut your apples, you can go ahead and dice them up and have them diced up ahead of time. Sprinkle them a little bit with, uh, um, with just a little bit of lemon juice, and it'll keep them from turning brown. I just knew it wasn't going to take long to put this together, so I, I didn't do it. Okay, so let's get this apple stirred in here. Now, I have a half of a cup of pecans that I just ran my knife through. I didn't want huge pieces and um, I just wanted little, little bits. And um, if you see some that are bigger, just break them up. So I'm gonna put that over in there. We're gonna stir it up. And y'all, that's it. That's as simple as this gets. Now, I'm kind of going to go out on a limb and say, I think a little sprinkle of apple pie spice or cinnamon would be delicious in this. But I'm going to go right by this recipe because that's how um, we made it. And that's how she wrote down the recipe. So I'm going to put it in an 8 by 8 buttered dish. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful in there? And that's just the batter. So let's get this in here. Now, remember what I said. If you doubled the recipe, put it in a bigger pan. Yeah, I don't make the same mistake I did. But they, this, we learn. That's how we learn. But I don't like cleaning my stove. All right. Now, this is going to bake up. It's going to poof up. And it's going to be so yummy. And that sugar is going to get uh, crispy on top. So y'all give me a few minutes. Let me get this baked. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? I want y'all to look at that. Now, I've taken it out of the oven. And I let it cool for just a few minutes. And... Um, Remember, I showed you what the other one looked like. This is so much better. But um, now let's let's taste it. I want you to see if you can hear this crunch. Can you hear that crunch? I saw that sugar and butter that rose to the top. But let's get a little bit of this out. Now, you can make some homemade whipped cream. I didn't. And um, I don't have any heavy whipping cream. But I do have some of this, and that's what I'm gonna use. It's still gonna be good, you know. Use what you have. Don't make special trips. Now, let's put a little bit right here. Now, I'm gonna zhuzh it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use some of Pop's caramel that he puts in his coffee. And I am going to put just a little light drizzle. You know, there's nothing better than a caramel apple. And I, I love the State Fair when you can get those caramel apples. Now, looky there. Isn't that beautiful? Let's give it a taste. Oh, I can't wait. Is it still warm? And that cream's melting just a little bit. Oh my goodness. I want a bite of the apples, the cream, the pecans, and that sugary topping. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Y'all have got to make this. Oh, the nuts, the apples. It's like a, it's fall in one bite. And it reminds me a lot of a caramel 
apple like you get at the fair. And especially with drizzling that extra caramel on there. <laughs> I'm going to go finish my dessert and my coffee. But I hope you'll give this a try. And if you do, please let me know. And uh, I really think you're going to enjoy this. Like I said, it is the perfect, it's like fall in one bite. It is absolutely amazing. It's been a long, long time. I told you it's been over 30 years since I've made this. And um, it's just as delicious as I remember it being. So, y'all, thanks for joining me today. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we post another video. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you soon, everybody.